Hey friend, David here from Learn Christmas Lighting, and in this video, I want to talk to you about power supplies. Specifically, I want to compare these large server-style power supplies with the old Meanwell LRS uh, 350 12 volt power supply. Of course, there's other options in the 12 volt world, but this is by far the most popular pick. And I want to talk about how do you know which one is right for your display. Last year especially, we really saw an uptick in people buying and using these 750 watt power supplies with breakout boards. Okay. Now, on the surface, it looks like, and I think there was a little bit of a buying frenzy, you know, I saw the prices on eBay shoot up a little, um, for these server type power supplies, because the general consensus is these are used, they were put in a server type environment where they're hot swappable, and the IT companies that run these things, they run them for a certain amount of hours, and then they pull them out and sell them off for next to nothing. Why? Because they want reliability above anything else, and they don't want to push these things anywhere near failing, because that causes much bigger problems. On the other hand, we've got a Meanwell LRS350. We can get brand new for, you know, honestly, if we buy multiple of these, they're almost the same price on eBay. But this one's 350 watts, and this one is 750 watts, okay? And so... That's really the first big difference is you say, well, for the same cost, I get a quality power supply. You know, these are not cheapies, the HPs, the Dells, whatever. This is a high quality power supply, just like the Meanwell. Okay. So if you get double the power for about the same cost, why not use a server power supply? After all, you know, physically, whoop, you can see they're about the same size. HP's a little thicker. Meanwhile's a little thinner. Um, the Meanwells fit into the ammo cans from Harbor Freight and other places really well. The HP doesn't quite with the board on it. It's too deep. But other than that, there's a lot in common. So let's just look real quick first at, okay, what do you need to make these things work? If you're using a Meanwell, you're going to need a power distribution of some point. Now, for me, for most of my display, I just use the smart receivers from Falcon. Um, you know, using that receiver card that works with my pixel controller and also injects power. But you can also use a distro like these Falcon F8 distros that give you more outputs and I use these for power injection as well. You'll bring in the wires off of the meanwhile into the terminals here. They'll distribute power fused through these fuses to be able to go out to your lights to power inject. Now let's look at the other half. Let's look at the HP power supply. It's going to connect with a breakout board that may look something like this. There's a lot of different options out there. The ones for Bitcoin mining, for example, have a different plug on them. And we plug it in here right onto the server power supply. Okay. Now, the benefit of this is that it's fairly hot swappable in that you just can unplug it and plug it back in. But that really depends on how uh, tight the space is in your enclosure that you've got these mounted in. A lot of enclosures that people use are too tight anyways, and so swapping out a meanwhile takes just as much time as one of these. Um, so I don't really see an increase there. Um, but then you've got the same thing. You've got fuses on the outputs, boom, go into terminal blocks. And what this also does, and this is the important part, is that it connects some wires together that simulates a computer turning on so that the power supply starts up. And that's really the key part. At the end of the day, both of these power supplies are kind of equally matched. You think to yourself, well, compared to Meanwell, I could literally cut my power supply cost in half if I went with these HP power supplies, getting them used on eBay and stuff, right? Well... You really first need to look at your display, okay? Don't get in a frenzy and don't just go buy some server power supplies because somebody said to. Because by the time you buy the power supply, by the time you buy the distro board, whereas you could have maybe just used a smart receiver before, you've spent more than it's going to cost for a Meanwell. And then you need to look at your display, okay? A 750 watt power supply at 12 volts um, loses power quickly, right? That's what we know about 12 volt, volt power, is that as we send it more distance, it loses voltage, and then it's not going to work well for our pixels. And so 
In order to use a 750 watt power supply and make good use of it in our display, we need to have a lot of pixels in one area so that um, we're using one power distro box that powers a lot of stuff. Now, you've probably heard me say, I don't like to go over 25 feet or anywhere near it with 12 volt power uh, from the power supply to the first pixel because I want to give as much of that power as I can to the pixels. Okay, so that's one consideration. Is your display dense enough and do you have enough pixels starting in one place that you can justify filling up a full mean well and, and wanting a power supply in HP? Um, because you're going to have to run a lot of smaller wires, okay? Now, I found myself, I've got these HPs and I've used them and I test them and I've worked with them. And for my display, things aren't really dense enough to make sense out of it. Not only that, you've got to think about the streamline of setup, troubleshooting, and teardown, okay? With two mean well boxes, you know, basically taking a mean well and putting it inside a box like this with a smart receiver board and maybe a power distro board, uh, I can have these boxes be generic in the sense that I've got multiple of these boxes that have the smart receiver from, from Falcon in them, that have a Meanwell LRS350 power supply, and that have a Falcon FA distro board in them for power injection. I can have a bunch of these boxes, and they're all going to be the same. So when it's time to set up my display, I don't have to lay all my stuff out and be like, okay, this box goes here, this box goes here, this box goes here, that one goes there, oh no, that one goes there. And if I'm using friends to help me set it up, which I am a big advocate for, then friends or family, then... I don't have to tell them, oh, well, this one goes there, this one goes there. I say, hey, I need a power box here. I need a power box here. I need a power box here. And if you keep most of your stuff the same, it's going to be quicker to set up, tear down, and troubleshoot. If you think about it, if you have, say you have one big box at a mega tree that has that HP power supply in it, I'm of the mindset that, and this is, the mega tree is really the one place where I would put a power supply this large, but I'm really of the mindset that, I want to have a backup of every box in my shell so that if something happens, something goes wrong, I can just swap out the whole controller box and go back to, to running the show. And then I can take that controller box back to my office, you know, in the daylight when I have a minute, fix things, and then send it back out um, if I need it. If I'm using different types of boxes, like I've got a big one over here and I've got a small one over there and I've got a different size one over there, then I'm either going to need to keep around multiple extra boxes or... If something fails, I'm going to have to like open that box, get into it, and fix it right then if I want my display to work properly. That's why I'm a big fan of the low-stress approach, where, you know, for me, for my display, I've decided, you know what, I'm going to use the mean wells everywhere. Even if I put two of them next to each other in an area that's more dense, because it simplifies my setup, it simplifies my troubleshooting, and it allows me to, to be quick with it. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed this perspective. If you did, hey, like this video and subscribe here for more on Learn Christmas Lighting. And I will see you guys over at learnchristmaslighting.com where you can grab my free guide to begin with Christmas lighting and also here on the channel. We'll see you soon. Thanks.